I'm Kathy. I'm Rachel. I'm Ola, and welcome to Ladybird Book Club. Great job. Oh, we did that so well. It might be the 12th of January, but we're still in Christmassy mode at Luna Bird. We're going to be talking through the books that we got for Christmas this year. Kathy, how many did you get? I got nine. I only got three, but <laughs> hey, that's better than no books. So yeah, we're just going to show you the books that we got and say a little bit about what they're about and if we're looking forward to them or not. Yeah, I think like we probably won't end up doing a lot of haul videos mm -hmm. on Luna Bird because we, I don't know, do you buy a lot of books at once? Mm, if I, I have done... A time or two, but not 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 very recently. No, I I read I normally buy like a book at a time. If mm -hmm. I get a big group of books, they're from the library. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this might be one of our very few hauls that you'll get on this video. So enjoy. <laughs> okay, you are kicking off. I'm gonna start. Ooh, which pile shall I start with? Okay, I'm gonna start with two books I got given that were on my list of books that mm -hmm. um, I had in mind on. My list. On my list. list. There were books on my list. So I. I I keep a list throughout the year when people say, oh, you like this book, I just keep a list and then when it gets close to my birthday or Christmas, I share it with my family. Oh, that's cute. So if they want to buy me a book, they know what books I'm into at the moment. Uh, so the first book that I got for Christmas that was from my list is The Lions of the North by Edward Marston. Uh, this is part of the Doomsday Detective series. So it's um, like a knight, a cleric, a monk, going mm -hmm. around different parts of... Um, England and Britain at the time, correcting anomalies in the Doomsday book in medieval times and every place they go a murder's happened and they have to solve the murder. Uh, it's a really fun series, they have the prettiest of covers mm -hmm. uh, and this is book four and I'm looking forward to reading it. And then the second book on my list was one, this has been on my list for ages so I'm quite glad that uh, my mum and dad found this and got it for me. This is Cooking with Bones, is it by, by Jess Richards. It's about from what I can remember about a strange family and the two sisters have very strange magical powers that can influence people around them and they're like in an isolated village and there's secrets and shenanigans and yeah it's just a standalone fantasy novel that sounded interesting and creepy and I really wanted to read it so I'm glad I've got that. Just so you know, all this jumping around like a mad thing behind the camera. <laughs> I got all of my books at different times throughout the festive period, so I'm just going to do them in the order that I got them. I got this first one on Christmas Day. Uh, this is written by someone local, Ooh. Anna Kirkup. She was a few years below me at school. Um, so I believe this is like a YA fantasy novel. It's called Through the Hazel Tree, and it's about a girl who finds out that she was a witch, who was a change, like a witch changeling, who was sent into the human world as like a social experiment. And then on her 17th birthday, she gets taken back to Witch World, and it's about her. It's a bit like Sabrina, but like that. Yeah. Okay, so my next pile are three books that I got given that are kind of like dip in and out of books throughout mm -hmm. the year rather than just sit down and read them. Mm -hmm. So the first is The Almanac, a seasonal guide to 2024. And this is filled with like little things to notice in nature for every month of the year. It's got like sunrise and sunset times and the moons mm -hmm. um, when's the full moon coming up and um, traditions and crafty stuff you can do um, for different times of the year so I'm going to just try and leaf printing painting yeah like leaf printing painting and that kind of thing and what like wildlife's up to at different points I like a squirrel using uh, a leaf as a bounty hopper <laughs> like a squirrel using a leaf as a bouncy hopper. Maybe. I'll have to see when we get to September, maybe. Um, so I'm going to try and just read a little bit of this every day and see what's going on in the world. Cute. And then the other two books that I'm kind of going to dip in and out of are like prayer books. Yeah, Ooh, prayer books. Uh, so Everyday Prayers by Scotty Smith is a prayer for every day. <laughs> But the prayer is based off different um, scriptures and gospel readings, which mm -hmm. is kind of like a way of having a very Bible-focused prayer time. Mm -hmm. And then this, I, I was quite excited about this one. Oh, this was actually also on my list. I forgot about that. Nice. Uh, so the lives we actually have, a hundred blessings for imperfect days. So every, so there's a hundred blessings and like prayers in here, but they're all specifically for days 
um, that might not be so great. So there's like days when you are cold, mm -hmm. days um, uh, so for days when you can't sleep, for when the stress is getting ridiculous. And there's nice ones too, for when you're having a great day, for around the table, for when disaster strikes, for when you're sick but have no answers. So the idea being is that um, just that you can seek grace and faith and have times of reflection meditation even when things aren't going perfectly. Um, I quite like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are my dipping in and out of books for the year. My next book is also kind of seasonal. It's Weird Walk, Wanderings and Wanderings Through the British Ritual Year. This is, um, I believe the people who wrote this have like a, an online magazine about weird walks. Mm. And as far as I can tell, this is, um, so throughout the seasons there's different, it, it highlights different areas of the country where there's something like a, a ritual stone or um, burial mounds or something like that or like chalk or crop circles that um, have a significance to ancient times and traditions and it just tells you a little bit about them and where they are and things like that and what practices were practiced <laughs> <laughs> through the year at those sites. Um, that sounds really cool. Yeah this was a secret Santa gift from Tristan. Thanks Tristan. Uh, um, yeah. Oh yeah I think we should do some of those walks. They're all quite far away. Oh. Um, most of them are in the south. There's some in Yorkshire, but there's none in Lancashire, which is rude. very rude. And like the star is called the Preamble, which I really like. <laughs> that was quite funny. Um, so yeah, there's one in North Yorkshire. Yeah. We could do that. We could do North Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, we'll just have to have more trips. We, yeah. Also, I love your bookmark. Thank you. It's really cute. I want to see the bookmark. This is my bookmark. Can That's you see cool. it? It's from Rhodes. Nice. Um, I'm smacking my head with my foot. You, you are, are smacking, smacking your, your head, head with your foot. foot. <laughs> <laughs> we said that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, my next little stack with two like surprise books I wasn't expecting. So this one, I really need to read this one quickly. Um, <clears throat> because this is a little tiny book called The Christmas Dinner um, that I got f um, from Family in Ireland. It's so cute and small and I feel like I really should read it whilst the Christmas season is still mm -hmm. within view. We're filming this a bit before it's coming out so like if I read it today I'm still within like the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, yeah, cute, little, so sweet. I might add this to our Christmas book collection next mm -hmm. year to go under um, the tree. I think, you, I, I think you might be able to finish this today. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it, sure. it's not a tax and greed is it? And then this one, this is a bit of a wild card, but a friend at church asked if I'd like to have this and read it. It's um, called The Reformation. I think it's just a history book on the church reformation. Mm -hmm. But it was owned by a gentleman who uh, used to go to church at Rachel I've grown up in. He was called Ron. Mm -hmm. uh, he was part of the church fellowship for 70 years and passed away in his 90s. He was a really just very special guy, very lovely. Um, and this was one of his books. So I'm quite intrigued to read it and just read something that influenced somebody who's been a, a very good role model mm -hmm. I just in my life. I just realised that I've had a cut on my ankle for a long time. You've had a cut on your ankle for a long time? Yeah, you have. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, it didn't, it didn't happen just now. It happened a while ago? Yeah. Okay. But I just didn't realise it. So the child is not injured? Yeah. Cut. <laughs> okay. You done? Done! Your next one! My next book is technically not a Christmas present, but I did buy it with some Christmas money. Oh no, uh, that counts, that so counts. Yeah, yeah, it does count. <laughs> I was away with some friends over the new year and then had about half an hour before my transport home. So I went to Belgravia Books in London, which is a little independent publishing place apparently. And this was written by one of their booksellers. It's called oh. Unscripted by Claire Hanscombe. It's a... It's a romance novel about an author who is like infatuated by an actor and she thinks they're destined to be together so she writes a novel based on him like the main character is based on him and she's trying to get the script to him so that he reads the script wants to make it into a film and she's like well you can do that but I have to be involved and then they're gonna fall in love something like that it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like it sounds <laughs> So cheesy, and I'm just. I thought that was gonna be scary. Scary, like a creepy stalker person. Well, 
well, yeah, that too. But in the, but I feel like she's the main character of the novel, so it's it's going to be like a cheesy type okay. thing rather than if it was from his perspective, it would be it would be creepy. But yeah. That, like that's in the romantic books, so Ali. They can really like yeah, 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 yeah. either way. Anyway, so this just sounds like a pretty fun read. Yeah, I'm really curious. You're gonna have to tell us more when you read it. Oh, I what definitely if it will. Actually, is scary. Well, if it actually is scary, that'd be quite funny. Mm. Okay, my final little stack. Um, I got Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingslover for Christmas. Again, from a member of the Irish side of the family. Um, I know this is based roughly on like David Copperfield, which I've never read. Uh, and I also know that so many people said that this was their book of the year last year. Wow. I keep seeing people say that this was their favourite book, so I don't really want to find out any more about the plot mm -hmm. than what I already mm -hmm. know. I want to go into it reading it blind, but I'm excited to read it. I listened to her The Poison with Bible last year, mm -hmm. which I found like a difficult book to read. It's quite emotional and detailed and it's and it's long but it was very thought provoking and it stayed with me a lot afterwards so I wonder if this will have the same effect. I have never heard of this but um the National Book Token like they have like a hidden oh yeah book title thing. This was, was in it. Was it in it? And uh, I was like what the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so very curious to read that one hmm. and then the last one you got me this book yeah! <laughs> but you don't know you got me this book. I don't know I got her this book. <laughs> um, Rachel got me um, a mystery, like a date night with a book yeah. package. And you just left it under the tree for me, which was really cute. And it, it was packaged so nicely and I didn't take a single photo of it, I didn't film oh, it. Oh, mate, how dare you. I know, but it, it was just... <laughs> it, I was so excited, I just tore into it. It had <laughs> chocolate, it had like hot chocolate and tea in there. It was really beautiful and I opened the book straight away and this was a book. So it's the Picture House Murders. It's like a 1920s murder mystery around like a new Picture House cinema thing. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to reading it. It looks really fun and again the cover is just really pretty isn't it? Yeah, very art deco. Very, yeah, 1920s art deco. Oh, all this whole, it's all this birthday student she's holding up a wrapped birthday present. What do you think it is, Orla? A book. It is a book. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, those are all the books we got for Christmas. Uh, let us know in the comments if you got any books for Christmas and what they were. Uh, we release new videos every Friday, so like and subscribe to keep up to date. Hope you have a fabulous week. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 I don't think we're going to have any bloopers on that. My first book. I got all of them. No. <laughs> it's actually scary. It's actually scary. It was actually creepy. Oh, we actually recorded. <gasps> yeah, the red box means okay. it's recording. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> I really hope that's what it means. I think it is what it means. I and also, there's like a beeping light right here. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. The red, red light. light as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We <laughs> do this for six. <laughs>